hello guys today we are going to talk about how to brand and grow your braiding business hi my name is louise nunga i am the founder and ceo of mobilebeauties.com mobile beauties is a platform that connects reliable clients with mobile braiders mobile beauticians so thank you for clicking on this course this course this course um, is going to just change your business and grow your business and change your mindset also about this whole braiding business. So I have my notes in front of me. I'm going to be going through my notes and also um, speaking to you as more um, tips and details come to mind. So anyway, let's get started. Um, the number one thing about branding your business is number one, you have to change your mindset. Your mindset is where everything begins. I'm sure you've heard that before and that is also so true when it comes to doing business. And so changing your mindset about how you view your braiding business. Yes, it is a business. How you, you view um, your braiding skills is very important because that kind of shapes how you, you, you visualize the whole business or you visualize you as a braider, as an entity. So think of it this way. Like I said in my previous video, how to make more money as a braider, as a braider, you're probably making, the average braider is making about $30 an hour, right? So if an average, let's say CNA or a certified nurse assistant is making 12 hours an hour, 12 dollars an hour or somebody who works at chick-fil-a is making minimum wage and they wear a uniform they go to their job on time they clock in clock out they're professional you know they take their jobs very serious so what more of you you're making more money you should feel and take pride in yourself in your craft in your business as a braider because you're really making more than the average person is making. So you have to see yourself as a professional, as a business owner. Don't just look at this braiding thing as something that you do on the side to make extra money because it is something that could blow your mind and could really change your future. Now, if you're skilled or you're talented or you're, or you're gifted, um, it doesn't matter. You know, that braiding could lead into other things and other ventures that you will never know unless you have started that business, that braiding business. I talk about this in my um, in my book, Just Started. Um, you can get the book on Amazon and it kind of just differentiates the difference between um, your gift and your talents and what to do and how to actually get started. But I believe in starting that business. And obviously, if you've clicked on this video, most likely you've already started you've already started getting clients, you've already started your branding business, but maybe you're not really taking it as serious as you as you need to be. So number one, change your mindset. Look at yourself with all dignity and all the pride. When you go, like it should be at the point where the same way you would think of a registered nurse, the same way you think of a doctor, you should see yourself in that same light that I am a professional. You should take pride in saying that. I don't know why us as braiders sometimes are ashamed of telling people that we are braiders. There's no shame in that. You're making money. You're providing a service. You're, you're, you're providing confidence to people. You're, co you're providing, you know, creating memories for people. Because when they're taking pictures after you've done their hair, they're taking pictures for special um, occasions, for birthdays, for, for anniversaries, for dinners, for whatever the case may be. You're helping people create memories. So you should take pride in that. Once you take pride, then God will give you the whole vision that you will be able to see more because if you don't take pride and take ownership of what your skills and what your talent or what your gift as a braider can bring you, then you're going to limit your vision. Get what I mean? You're not going to see more than, oh, I'm just doing this as a side business. So once you start looking at this as a business, as something that is a business, it's an entity, it's something I'm a professional, God will give you the whole vision. You will begin to see little all the details and little all the implementations that you can do. So number two, uh, if you haven't created an, an IG page, you need to create one. IG page right now for beauticians, for braiders, um, serves as a, your, your, your resume, your portfolio. So you have to create one. If you've already created one, um, you need to look, take a second look and see if you've branded yourself well as, as um, any other um, company 
they take a lot of time and pride and hire people to actually audit your social media page to make sure that they're keeping up with um, the appearance, the right appearance, with the brand, with the colors. So I want you to take a second look at your um, Instagram page and you need to have a color, a color theme. So my color theme for um, Mobile Beauties is turquoise, well teal or turquoise and gold. And so on our page, we try as much as possible to follow that theme and follow that color. So you wanna make sure that you pick your, whatever your favorite color is or whatever your company color, whatever color that speaks to you, you know, different colors have different meaning. Um, so you wanna pick a color that resonates with you that um, you don't have to pick what everybody else is picking whatever color that is your favorite color or that speaks to you pick a color and also make sure that that color is also being shown on your page so and also um i was actually gonna try to show you guys what that kind of looks like but my phone is acting up so anyway you need to know that um, your IG is where people are gonna look at your previous job. You need to make sure that if you have old photos that you have taken, maybe when you started, or even now that you have photos that are not clear, delete those pictures. Go take a second look at your social media. Um, I wouldn't even say social media because IG is the best place as um, a hair braider to showcase your work. You really, Facebook nowadays, you should have a Facebook, but your concentration should really be on IG because Facebook is kind of all over the, you know, it's all over the place. It has quotes and all those things. So people cannot really, unless you really um, put it in albums and all those things, so, um, IG is just so much more, more easier for you to navigate and for you to easily, uh, people to easily see your work. So make sure that your IG page is number one. If you're like me, you, you can't keep up with all the social media pages and Pinterest and Twitter and everything, choose one or at least start branding with one and perfect that one before you move on to the next one. And I would say IG is the, the best, the best um, to start with. Another thing also is that once you pick your color, you know, make sure that you create highlights on your um, on your IG page. Highlights, I'm not sure if you can see that, probably not. Highlights are those little circles that you will see on people's pages. If you see on my personal page right here, I have little bubbles and they have their own different titles. So this, I just recently took it serious because um it helps so many people to just directly see what they want to see where they don't have to scroll through um scroll through your uh instagram page to see what you're all about you know yes they're gonna go scroll through it and see but you want to have like different little bubbles the little circles little highlights on your story and you can go on youtube and just search how to create a highlight um on instagram and it'll tell you how to do that but make sure you do that where you can actually put and it can be called color coordinated you know with that color again make sure that the cover because with your highlight you need to have a cover make sure your cover is also coordinated with the color theme of your business so that when people come to your page they get it when they see your highlights um cover with a similar color they see your profile picture your logo by now you should have your logo if you don't have your logo get your logo i would say start with fiverr fiverr you can get a logo for as cheap as ten dollars fifteen dollars and they will do a beautiful wonderful logo for you fiverr is f-i-v-e-r-r.com go on there i use it for a lot of my graphics um and business administrative work that I that I need. So go on there, get yourself a logo, and let that logo also represent the color theme that is going to be on your Instagram. You have to think of it as a whole. And so once you have that, perfect your Instagram page. You know, um, start posting pictures that are good quality. People are not going to be willing to pay you what you deserve if they see that your pictures you didn't even invest enough time or quality into posting good pictures so if you post great pictures you're already adding value to your price you actually can increase your price just by post stop posting clearer or more hd or clearer pictures if that makes sense and so work on that if you don't have um, a professional camera you don't have to if you have a cheap phone that is not taking you know clear pictures you can still start by where you are get creative 
Take your clients after you've done their hair, take them outside during the sun, you know, during the sun when the sun is still up and take the pictures outside to get the best quality picture you can get. But also at this point, if you've already started, you should really invest in either getting a new phone with better um, camera quality or invest in a used camera. I have a Canon um, G7X that I bought used from um, a photographer of mine and he sold it to me for I think $200 and that's what I'm recording this video with and that's what I started taking my pictures with. So do so, you can get that same deal on Amazon. Go on Amazon and try to get a used um, Amazon used camera and get one and invest in yourself because that is where you're gonna add value and make more money is when you start presenting your business with excellence. Um, number two thing is if you do not have a booking platform that you use that you have connected to your Instagram page, you should get one, okay? Um, I see a lot of braiders that put DM me for prices or text me for prices. No, 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 no. That is a no-no in my opinion because you open the door to have conversations about your prices right so if people come on your page before they even dm you they should be able to know if they can afford you or not they should be able to click and go where they need to go look at your prices or whatever the situation or even if they dm you refer them back to your price list so you don't have to go back and forth with them about how much you're worth because then you open the door for people to feel like oh okay this is up for discussion it's not your prices are your prices. And so it should not be up for discussion for you to now debate what they need. Now I get it, depending on the style that somebody wants to post, most of the time you guys wanna see, we wanna see the picture, the inspirational picture of what they wanna book. I would say take your time and give as much detail on your price list as you can so that way you can minimize those questions. And most booking platform right now um, have the option where you can actually have a picture of the, um, a picture to describe the, the 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 price point or the quote or whatever of what you're you're saying, and also they will allow you like with Acuity scheduling, which is what we use. Um, it allows you to actually um, upload like your clients upload an inspiration of picture, and you can let them know right now this is prices varies according to your hairstyle. So that way, if they post if they book an appointment and upload a picture inspirational picture, you can now tell them that hey that's going to be extra or that's going to be less based on what you uploaded, but you've already stated it on your booking platform that prices varies. So please, please guys, take that off the DM and the text in and and you know call me for da 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 no because you're going to stress, take that stress out of you where you can just sit down relax and let your appointments come in and all you get is a notification and make sure you're charging a deposit i know most of you already are probably doing that if you're not doing that you need to do that i had to graduate from that because i was like well i don't want people to pay um and feel like i'm trying to make you know get money before they actually uh get the service but actually when i changed that our value went up when people see that you actually require a deposit, they your business gets more value because they're like, okay, this is a profession. This is somebody that is taking this very serious. So make sure that um, you ask for a deposit so people are not also going to cancel whenever they feel like it. We had a lot of cancellations here at Mobile Beauties where literally we would go to a client's house and they would be like, oh, something came up or oh, I forgot or whatever the case may be. So we implemented that deposit where if you cancel less than a certain amount of time without notification, then you lose your deposit. So make sure you have that. I finally got my page to work let me if you get a chance you'll be able to go to our instagram page and um yeah it's not gonna show and see if you go on at mobile beauticians you'll be able to see what i'm trying to explain to you about the highlights and the color theme and all that so number two um you got the booking sites you can google um what kind of booking platform works for you there's equity there's schedulosity or schedule city or whatever um there's book clue there's so many platforms to use um another thing that i strongly believe in is getting a uniform i know you know braiders don't see themselves worthy or it's not that serious for me to get a uniform get a uniform a uniform also adds value to yourself and to your your company and to the branding when we started we didn't have uniforms with mobile when we were um african mobile braiders we didn't have any uniforms and then after a while i'm like the lord laid it on me like we need to get uniforms because where he's taking us we need uniforms to represent where he's taking us and so i was like i don't want no t-shirts i don't want the regular theme i don't want i 
I looked for vests, you know, the, the salon vests, all of them were black. I'm like, no, I want something colorful. I want something unique. I want something that you can throw on and throw out. And that's how um, I came about with the the scrubs those are literally nursing scrubs that we added our logo on it and um made it into uniforms um so we added uniforms and a toolbox so each, each beautician comes with a uniform and a toolbox that adds value also to a client when they see you at the front door and you have a toolbox and you have a uniform it adds more value also that's part of your branding and make sure that the color of your uniform goes also with the theme of your logo, the theme of your social media page. Everything has to go, let it be color coordinated. Another thing also is um, business cards. So branding also, which has to also go with your color. I, business cards is there, it's, it's, it's a little bit old school. I really love, um, I ordered this two by two business cards from I think Vistaprint and it's not a flyer, it's a little bit smaller than a flyer, but a little bit bigger than um, a regular business card. If you can see it, it's this big. Even though they screwed it up, they were supposed to make it, this whole white border was not supposed to be there. But um, if you can see, it's not as small as a business card and it's not as big. This is a regular business card, right? So you can see it's just a little bit bigger than a business card, but it's not, um, as big as a flyer so you can easily pass it out to people and once you have your 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 flyer slash business card your two by two i would say go, go with a two by two go on vistaprint.com or any other printing company that you like and get you some flyers get your work put some pictures don't put the general pictures don't google pictures and use pinterest pictures on your business card people can tell Use your own work where when people go back to verify um, on your Instagram page, which should be on your, your business card, they should be able to see that, oh, that's actually your work. It's not from a magazine. I, I just, I can't take people putting magazine pictures on your, on your business card. That's your portfolio. That's your resume. People should know that you are qualified and talented for the job. So do that. Every time you're out, pass business cards. Pass them out at Walmart, Kroger, Publix, wherever you're going. And especially when you do your client's hair, give them, leave them three or five business cards because they're going to have friends that when they go out or that same day, we've had clients that they just ran to the store after we finished their hair and met somebody at Walmart and pass out a business card or a phone number on our website. So have that and give that out to your clients. Um, another thing also that I would say is that um, know how much you want to make. I know this this has to do with growing your business. Know how much you want to make. And you're not going to know if you don't measure or you're not able to measure what you're already making. And that's why I can't, I don't take appoint, hair appointments over the phone anymore. I don't care if you're having issues. If I have to book the appointment, I still, if I take an appointment over the phone due to some kind of technical difficulty, I still have to book it on the system. Because that way, at the end of the week, at the end of the month, I can keep track of how many appointments, how much money came in, and, and that way I can project where I am and where I'm trying to go so that booking system is also so important for you to track how much you have coming in so that way you can break it down and you can say okay in this week if I make every week if I do three hairs you know three hair appointments and each could cost hundred and fifty dollars that's how much money I'm gonna make a week that helps you so much to know and to take more pride in your business because once you compare how much you can bring a week doing three hairs or even working two days a week or three days a week and compare that to go get a regular job you're going to you're going to readjust your thinking just by seeing what is coming in weekly and monthly and then you can project how much you want to make which is going to project you know how much advertisement and promotion you need to do how much more you have to hustle to get more clients so make sure that you have an idea of what, how much you want to make um so break it down and also you can watch um my other my other video on how to grow how to make more money i think i talk about that a little bit more too another thing also is that i use a lot of mailchimp so mailchimp is also awesome mailchimp um m-a-i-l c h i m p dot com is awesome to collect email so when people use your booking whatever booking platform you use most likely mailchimp can be compatible to it where when people put in your information your email address it automatically would um 
subscribe them into um, a list so that maybe on a weekly base uh, with MailChimp you can actually set up uh, a welcome you know an appointment like before their appointment they can actually get like a reminder email and then after the appointment you can actually set up an automated um, thank you um, a point you know email so MailChimp is awesome uh, go on YouTube I don't have to really talk because there's so much on YouTube already I just have to direct you on the go on YouTube and Google how to use MailChimp for your business or MailChimp um, automated emails and MailChimp has so many free and it's all free and that way you can weekly send your clients um, weekly reminders or you can just send them blog we've sent our clients blogs you know blog posts just to keep because you know you have to keep your business on people's mind Think about how many times you see a McDonald's commercial on TV. They say that a customer has to see something seven times, at least seven times before they actually click and buy it or click to be interested. So every week or whatever, make sure that you're keeping in touch and having your um, customers engage. So that's that for uh, MailChimp, you just gotta be consistent. Also, for those of you who um, love to talk, just like I do, um, start a YouTube page. Your YouTube page, even if you're not you're, you're uncomfortable on camera, you don't like to talk, start a YouTube page where you literally, you know, you've seen those videos where it's all about your hands. All you see is the person's hands doing something or the, you know, the camera's on the hair and you're doing, come up with something creative that you can offer on YouTube to start growing a YouTube page. It's going to help you. It helps you with Google analytic, um, analytics and it just helps you also to um, build a following. And it's going to also help you to figure out other things you could add, other creative avenues. It could be something very simple. It could just be you um, showing how you do your, your box braids or how you style box braids or how you do something so simple how you do your feeding braids it doesn't matter or if you see like right now I think the bomb twist is very viral right now this would be a great time to do a video on how to style bomb twist because it's still new but it's going crazy like we've had a lot I need to get on that you know that viral train I haven't yet but I will later on today so um do um YouTube videos or Instagram live videos, you know, start talking to people through videos because people love seeing videos um, to connect with you and to also see your behind the scenes and um, and, and whatnot. And also keep up with the trends. Like I said, the bomb tools is trending right now in um, this is October 2018 um, is very trendy right now. So perfect. I've gone on YouTube to watch, you know, what it is and all those things. So what, we, what you do, you have to keep educating yourself. Keep up with the trends. Make sure you talk about the trends um, and post about those th those trends, you know? Because now if I post a picture about bomb twists on Instagram, most likely it's gonna get more likes. By the way, post that picture. P find a bomb twist um, picture and post it on an Instagram page. Okay. I just remember before I forget. I'm talking to uh, my assistant. But um, yeah, so if we post a bomb twist and did the hashtag, it probably is still kind of low. The hashtag is, is kind of low right now, but it will put us up there automatically because people are now getting into it. So make sure that you're keeping up with the trends. Make sure you're watching YouTube videos. You're consistently on YouTube or um, other sites and, and sign up on at Hiring Braiders on IG because we're going to be uploading content about trendy trendy hairstyle write that down too we need to keep up with trendy hairstyle um trendy hairstyles we're going to be posting it to keep you educated on what's trendy um so another great way to brand um yourself is also that you can become mobile we're currently hiring um or not really hiring but we're recruiting braiders here in georgia any part of georgia for now um that want to create you create your profile you set your availability you set your prices so you can also become mobile that's another way of branding yourself if you're a mobile braider that sets you apart also there's no overhead there's no you know you get to know what you're doing every before or every day because you have your appointments coming in it's not like going to a braid when i used to work at a braiding shop we literally would just sit up you know sit in the shop all day looking through the window and just wishing that somebody's walking